Hi, Bruno. How's it going? Hey, LA. I'm doing great. Okay, so uh, I'm doing great. I'm actually so extremely happy to be here with my shaky cam. Uh, uh, no, it's the second. Uh, shaky? That's oh, you, shaky. Oh. A Sunday morning, we're talking about um, hairspray. Hairspray. Hairspray, yes. I want to talk about my favorite hairspray from Kerastars, which is a little bit confusing because the packaging is a lot of the same. There's four different hairsprays here. Okay. And they all do different things. Okay, so that's that's the thing. I remember uh, years ago being introduced to uh, the Kerastas spray. It was a game changer. Uh, it's a beautiful line, beautiful. Wow. It's a, it is a lu luxurious line, mm -hmm. um, but it's so gentle on the hair. And a lot of people could think, well, you know, hairspray, a lot of alcohol and air spray, hairsprays. And, uh, but this one is very gentle. And it's actually, they're all micro mists yeah so they're so light and they don't create buildup and the alcohol level is so low but it's still very performing so and it's actually they're actually all nourishing to the hair as well which is the beauty of it so oh so it's an extension of your hair care you get. okay okay cool so, so so can i ask a question mm -hmm. like when you say uh micro mist what what, what do you mean by that it's a it, it, it's such a fine mist that you don't really feel it on the hair, except for the finishing hairspray, which is Lac Noir. Okay. But if I if I can start, like we're yeah. going from we're going from the the lightest spray okay. to the heaviest spray, or I should say that the, the strongest spray okay. to, to set the hair. So if I start here, this is just a volumizing powder which is, uh, you know, day number two, day number three, after washing your hair, you use the VIP mist okay. to create, uh, to eliminate uh, really greasy, the, the oils from the roots of the hair and create volume because a lot of the time, day number three, especially, especially for clients with greasy hair, uh, it goes flat. Okay, can I ask a question? So, uh, so you're using your Kerastase products to wash your hair, and maybe your day three, you don't have time to go through the whole process. That's so right. you restyle with this, VIP, the sure, VIP powder. Sure. And you where know, do you, you put can, that? You can spray your roots. You okay. can spray it throughout the hair, throughout your layers, okay. and it just creates this uh, volume and extra body that you lose at day number three. Okay, yeah. perfect. Then we have the lightest hairspray, which is a very light hold. And hey, can you show me that a little couture. closer? Let me, can I see that? Like, can you bring that up to the camera? Cause Actually, it's this one here. Uh -huh. Lac Dantel. Dantel? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Lac Dantel, and okay. One, and Dantel, if you think about it, it's, it's uh, lace. Lace? French. So it's, it's very gentle. Yeah, I mean, this is my working hairspray. So as I style, I can build up, uh, I can build up the, the hold but a very light hold with this. Okay. Um, and then you can comb through, you can brush through as you're styling your, your you know, your style. Okay, great. So, so what, who, who would use that? Like, are there particular hair uh, types or densities that you would suggest to Is use? For, uh, I would say, especially fine hair, because it's so light. And again, it's a mist. So on fine hair, that works great, but it also works on all type of hair. This is great for clients that do not like hairspray. Ah, oh, perfect. You don't want to feel anything in their hair. You will not feel anything in your hair, no residue, no buildup by using that head. Okay, great. Okay. Thanks. That's a good, that's, that's really, really clear. Um, would you use uh, like the powder and the the uh, the dentour? Yeah, of at, course. You'd use both. Yeah. Okay, perfect. This will give you that that like that hoomph from the roots. Okay. This will give you control on the you know those little flyaways or yes. your style. And so it, it can be a finishing hairspray. Okay. But again, you can still you know run your fingers through your hair. Oh wow. And you won't feel anything. Oh, well, I, I have to say the also the the uh, the scent. Is very pleasant mm -hmm. from these products, so it's not overpowering, but it's very no, you makes you. It, it smells clean. It's, it smells clean, and uh, it doesn't smell alcohol at all because the, the, the level of alcohol is so little that you don't get that uh, that smell. Then we have La Couture. Okay. So La Couture is. Can you show the, me the uh, product? It's more. Like this one is a medium. Couture, old. Couture. So this one is still a um, a working mist spray that you can comb through, brush through, but it has a little bit more hold than the Dattel. Okay. So who would you, when would you, when would you use that instead of like? This one would be for, I, I would tend to use this on people with thicker hair, 
uh, more dense hair. Okay. So to have to get that extra control. Okay. And um, if somebody's hair is drier and it's harder to control the flyaways and those little guys who you know everybody gets on top once you style. Right. I would definitely finish with this. The couture. The couture. Okay. Yeah. And then what's the next one? And then la noir. Well, that's the one with the most uh, hold. Okay. And it's this one, you will feel something on your hair, but I use this mainly for um, bridal. So once you finish your style, your updo, I would spray that on and it's, the hair will still move, but it's definitely not a mist. It's more of a spray because it, it is a bit heavier, okay. but it's for more like formal occasions, um, well, I remember when we used to work backstage. Oh, uh, Fashion LA, Week. Fashion Week and stuff. Yes. So, runway. Yeah. Um, this is really a finishing hairspray. Yeah. Not to be used as a working hairspray because then you try to comb through it. And we... <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's a great, great, great finishing hairspray. Yeah. yeah. I have to say, I remember seeing uh, one of your creations uh, going down the runway and the hair was like really fluffy and to the sides and it was mm -hmm. like a uh, like a like a curly bob but really really wide mm -hmm. and i know that there was a lot 